Welcome back to P3. Today we're looking at logarithms and non-linear data. Unit 5.4. Logs can be used to manage and explore non-linear trends in data. What this means is that we can essentially use logs with graphs of these two forms that you see on the screen. And using logs we can create a form where we essentially get a straight line graph. And then we can use that straight line graph to look at trends, to find specific values, missing values, estimate things and so on. So let's have a look. Now I'm going to start with this y equals ax to the power n. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take logs of both sides. Now I'm actually taking a log to the base 10 of both sides okay what we often do is just like ln is the natural log when we're doing log to the base 10 we often just write log which is what i'll do from from here on out so log y now when i've got log a times x to the power n i can split these up because these are multiplied I can split them up using my rules of logs. So I get log a plus log x to the power n. And then again, using rules of logs, I can bring this n down to multiply by my log. So log y equals log a plus n log x. Now I'm just going to rearrange to get it in the form of y equals mx plus c. So I'm going to go n log x plus log a. And what I can see that this is now in the form of y equals mx plus c. Where my gradient is n and my y is log y and my x is log x and then the constant is log c, log a so this type of graph i would be going log x against log y that is what i would be plotting let's have a look at the second one y equals a b to the power x again I'm going to start off in the same way and I'm going to take logs of both sides. So log y equals log a b to the power x. And again, much like last time, I want to split this a b to the power x up. So a times b, I can split up. So it's going to be log a plus log b to the power x. And then I'm going to bring that down using rules of logs again. So it's going to become x multiplied by log b. And then a bit of rearranging. So log y equals. Now I'm going to write it like this. Log b times x plus log a. Now I would actually write this as x log b. But I'm just doing this just to show you exactly where it matches up. So y equals mx plus c. So what you can see is that y is log y. The gradient is log b. x is x. And c is log a. So what that means is that I'm actually plotting x against log y. Because you can see the x is still x in this case. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon if you want to be reminded of when an upload appears. So here we have a quick example. Uh, I've not done any context here just so that I can fit everything on. And you can see that we've got log p plotted against t tells me the gradient and it tells me where it hits the vertical axes. Now from this what I'm going to do is a few things. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the equation of this straight line. So if I think about it it's going to be y which is my log p 
equals mx, so that's 0 0.8t plus c, and my c is 3. And that there is the equation of this straight line. I'll pop it up there. Now I can go ahead and also find out what a and b is. And I can do this a few different ways. Now I'm going to do it the way that we looked at where we got the equations from this point to the straight line. So taking logs of both sides and then splitting up my log. So log A plus log B to the power T. Taking that down and I'm going to rearrange. So we got T log B plus log A and that is log P. Now, when I compare this to my equation up here, I can see that log B is equal to 0 0.8 and that log A equals 3. So that means that B is 10 to the power 0 0.8 and A is 10 to the power 3. Now, an alternative way of getting this answer would be starting from the equation of a straight line. So if I started at this point, then I'd want to make p equal, so I'm writing the logarithm as a power. So that's 10 to the power 0.8t plus 3. Then I'm going to split up my powers, because I'm adding here, so that's the same as multiplying. So I've got 0.8t multiplied by 10 to the power 3 then that is that 10 to the power 0 0.8 to the power t times 10 cubed and you can see that that is now the values that i wanted you can see that this is b and this is a and these are the same values that we had earlier with the other method